We all need food to survive, but our food habits are not same. Some animals eat grass, while some eat flesh. And today we are going to learn how different animals have adapted themselves for different food habits. So our topic of discussion will be adaptation for food. Talking about adaptation for food, we all need food to live and grow. Animals cannot prepare their own food like plants. Hence, they have a heterotropic form of nutrition. The large and diverse groups of animals living in this world have different food habits. It is for this difference that all the forms of life are surviving. Herbivorous Plants that is herbs, bushes, leaves, grasses, fruits or seeds etc. of a plant are eaten by some animals. These plant eating animals are called herbivores. Cows, goats and giraffe eat plants. So what will you call these animals? We will call them herbivores. These animals have sharp front teeth which help to cut grass or leaves and very strong flat grinding teeth at the back. These grinding teeth help to chew the grass. They have long and strong legs to travel long distances in search of food. Carnivores Carnivores are the animals that eat the flesh of other animals. Latin word carn means flesh. Carnivores are solely dependent on animals' tissues, that is flesh, for the need of energy and nutrients. Lion, a carnivore, has a developed special characteristics which help them to adapt the life that they lead. So this is an image of a lion and this is a cub. Lion have a sharp canines for hunting and tearing out the flesh of its prey. Eyes of lions are faced in front of the face which allows it to have a correct idea about the location of the prey. They have sharp pointed long claws in their front legs. This helps them to pounce and hold onto their prey. The light brown color helps it to hide in dry glass lands when it hunts so the color the the shape and uh, the claws that they have these all supports carnivores to live their lifestyle that is to hunt and gather the food Lions have a strong legs which help them to run very very fast to catch their prey. Okay, so they have to catch hold of it and for this their strong legs help them. Carnivorous birds like eagles have a sharp claws to catch their prey and strong pointed beak to tear the flesh. Eagles have very strong and good pair of eyes. This help them to sight their prey prey far from up in the sky so eagles when they even when they are in sky they can very well observe their prey on the land then comes the omnivores students animals which eat both plants and animals are called as omnivores do you know any example of this correct human beings are also omnivores they can eat plants as well as animals the latin word omni means everything so the animals that can eat everything are called omnivorous animals. They are opportunistic general feeders and not specially adopted to eat and digest either meat or plant material primarily. They eat what they can find easily. Human beings are the best example of omnivores because human beings can eat both plants as well as animals depending upon what is available 
We eat fruits and vegetables when they are widely available and eat meat also when it is available. We neither have sharp claws nor sharp canines because we don't go for hunting. Okay, so that's the reason why we don't have canines or sharp claws like tigers and lions. Now comes some exercise for you. The first question is tick the correct answers. Which one of the following is carnivorous animals? Cow, giraffe, panther, zebra or none of the above? The correct answer would be panther. So let us tick mark panther as it is the correct answer and move on to the next question. The next question is which one of the following is an herbivorous animal? Cow, tiger, panther, lion or none of this. Obviously the herbivorous animal the only example here is cow. So the correct answer would be cow. Let us take mark it and move on to the next question. The third question. Animals which eat both plants and animals are called options carnivorous, herbivores, omnivores or none of this. Now the animals which eat both plants as well as animals are omnivores. So the correct option is C. The next question is answer the following questions. In that first one is why do we need food? The answer would be we need food to live and grow. Second question which animals do we call herbivores? The plant eating animals are called herbivores. Which animals do we call carnivores? Carnivores are the animals that eat flesh of other animals. Well, that was all for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have any doubt, feel free to ask. You can put your comments in comment box and ask your questions. So see you during next session with the new topic. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.